Welcome back to my channel. This is Venetia Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell so when I'm uploading on YouTube, you are notified. We're going to do a chit chat, get ready with me. It's been a while since I've done a chit chat, get ready with me on my channel. So I decided to go ahead and just do a chit chat, get ready with me. I have a pop up shop that I am going to. So this pop up shop is here in Baton Rouge. And of course, it's me and my cousin. So um, actually, when I leave here, we are, I got to make a stop at Walmart and I got to um, pick up a couple of things for my cousin as well as myself get some snacks this is gonna be an all-day event and it's over 60 vendors at this pop-up shop so of course i got to showcase vam cosmetics so i will be bringing vam cosmetics for you today but before i do that so i want to thank dossier for working with me on this portion of the video dossier i've talked about dossier before i love their perfumes if you're not familiar with dossier dossier makes inspired perfume from some of your favorite high-end brands such as dior dolce and gabbana versace you name it they make it and instead of paying over a hundred dollars for these scents they offer their perfumes for 29 dollars you can't beat this and let me tell y'all something about dossier I have been loving their perfumes for quite a long time now. I have been loving their perfumes so much. The little body sprays I get from Walmart and the ones I've gotten from Bath and Body Works, I start wearing them. I wear everything Dossier. I love Dossier. I am like obsessed with Dossier. So let me show you Dossier. When you receive your package, it comes in a package just like this. And when you open it up, it comes with an information card just like this. And it comes with this perfume bottle. Let me tell you how big this thing is. Look at how big this bottle is. This is really big and it lasts a very long time. The scent I have today, this is the Floral Pink Pepper. This is the Dior, Miss Dior inspired perfume, which is the 2017 version of this perfume. When I put this on, it smells like I'm walking in Sephora. So I have been obsessed with this perfume a lot. And let me tell y'all about this scent. The scent lasts all day. And my daughter can vouch the scent last all day we went to Kendrick's football game and I was wearing I was I was wearing this scent right here when I tell you I have been wearing that perfume this perfume all day I left work picked up Moran's from work we went to the football game she could still smell the perfume and I had been wearing this perfume for about 12 hours the scents on these bottles last a very 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 long time um I have been just Oh my goodness, just when people ask you, what is that you're smelling? I always bring out Dossier. Now that perfume start at $29. If you don't like something, take it back. And it's no questions asked. They return, you can return it. There's no questions. There's no anything. There's no hassle, absolutely anything. So again, if you're interested in perfumes or inspired perfumes, you don't want to spend the wicked amount of money that these perfumes cost, they start at $29. This is how much you get and you're not gonna break the bank. $29, come on now. Check out Dossier. I will leave a link in the bottom of the description box for you to check out Dossier. So check them out, they smell good. So I'm gonna wear this at the pop-up shop today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with makeup. So for primer, I have been testing this out. This is from Beauty Blender. This is the Beauty Blender Opal Essence. This is their serum face primer. So most of the products I have been testing out lately have been from Beauty Blender. I'm gonna put this on and look, it gives like this, <laughs> like a holographic color. All right, so we're gonna rub this into the skin. All right, so we got that incorporated into the skin. So we're gonna be outside um, all day today and the sun is out and it is pretty hot, but it's supposed to get like in the low 80s today. So it's gonna be real hot. So I am gonna go in 
with my darker foundation shade from, of course, me, Vam Cosmetics. Shade number I'm going in with today is F44. So this one is a little darker for me, but in certain areas where I am a little darker, it blends in just fine. This is our soft matte foundation. Our foundations are currently available on our website for $10. They are medium to full coverage foundation. So a little bit literally goes a long way. And this is a 12 hour wear foundation. And our foundations are best applied with a brush. Let me go ahead and blend that in. Let me tell y'all what we got uh, going on with Vamp Cosmetics. Um, I have a lot of, I have some more pop-up shops that I am going to be attending. Um, this pop-up shop that I'm doing today, this pop-up shop was initially scheduled actually on my birthday, which is, which was September 5th. However, Hurricane Ida had other plans and it, the pop-up shop got pushed back to today. Um, some people are still dealing with the after effects of, um, Hurricane Ida, um, for us here in Baton Rouge, um, we were without power for almost four days, um, but we did get our power back. But then after we got our power back, it went back off uh, on Labor Day, the day after my birthday. Um, Labor Day was September 6th. My birthday was on the 5th. Um, my, husband, uh, my husband took me out for my birthday and get home. The electricity had gone out and they had stayed out for an additional 24 hours before they um, turned the electricity back on here. What happened was they didn't know, and it was a lot of uh, people from out of state helping with restoring power here in Louisiana. And where we are in our neighborhood, there's a transformer back here behind our house and it powers our street and the front street, which is the street that you turn into to enter our neighborhood. But the back streets are on a totally different transformer. They had power. So when our electricity went out, it was just our electricity that had gone out. Their electricity was still on and we could see their lights on on the next street. But by the next morning, the entire neighborhood was without power. And we are finding out that um, they may have restored power, but it was blowing transformers. So they had to turn power off to fix the transformers that were blowing. So that that's what was going on. Um, it happened to my other daughter and my son-in-law, and they were going to spend a night here, but they got their electricity back on, so they had gone back home. Um, so yeah. So that's why this pop-up shop that was actually scheduled for the 5th is now scheduled for today. All right, so for concealer, I've been testing this concealer out. And so far, so good. So this is the Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer. So I am trying out the concealer for the first time. I know it's been out for a minute. I know, but I'm just now trying it out. And I like this, the unique Dofa applicator shaped like the beauty, shaped like the beauty blender. And I'm taking some of that concealer and I'm putting it over my eyes to form my eyeshadow base. Also, when it comes to Vamp Cosmetics, uh, we have some new releases that I am very, very, very excited about. Um, so if you've been following Vamp Cosmetics from the very beginning, I did start out um, with lipsticks and uh and it was the bullet form uh lipsticks before i did lip glosses and then liquid lipsticks and uh foundation um i did have eyeshadow palettes those eyeshadow palettes have now since been discontinued but we do plan on uh releasing new eyeshadow palettes those eyeshadow palettes have been pushed back um to 2021 um, a lot of people have been asking me questions about any new releases. We have a lot of new releases coming. And a lot of our new releases will be coming out in 2022. 
So for if you're new to my channel, I do set my face twice, but before I set my face, I'm actually going to cream bronze. Now I've already recorded the makeup review for this product. Um, I have not uploaded it yet. So look out for my upcoming makeup review for this product. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their cream bronzer. This is the shade hazelnut that I have. So far, I have really been liking this cream bronzer. I've really been liking the cream bronzer. This is what the shade hazelnut looks like, look just like that. So I'm going to take my angle brush and I am going to cream contour. And you don't need very much of this product. You really don't need a lot. So I am going to just take the product and I'm just going to chisel it here and here. I'm just gonna dab because I don't wanna want it to look too harsh. And I'm gonna take some of that cream bronzer up here. This is a very blendable cream bronzer. Very, very blendable. So I'm gonna take that, really sculpt out my cream bronzer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. So for the first setting powder, of course, me, Fab Cosmetics. This is our translucent setting powder. So I'm just gonna take our translucent, take some a little bit of that excess off. And check out our current shades, our translucent and medium deep. They are available on our website for $8. And I take some of that setting powder and put it on my eyes, set that concealer I put on my eyes. All right, for, so for our second setting powder, again, sticking with me, uh, Vamp Cosmetics. This is our medium deep shade, which has become a very popular shade. <laughs> Had to restock this a couple of times. All right, so we're going to take that. Again, this medium deep shade is available on our website as well as on walmart.com for $8. So I'm just going to put it here, 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 here. I am going to set the rest of my face and I'm setting that cream bronzer as well. So I am going to go in with my Sigma Beauty Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette. So I'm going with this, but I'm going to use the um, only the contour. In here, I'm going to use the middle. I'm going to use this middle shade right here. I'm going to go in with that. So I'm going in with our blush palette from Vam Cosmetics. Oh, two of them I'm about to hit pan on. I'm going to go ahead with this one in the corner. I, I always wear this shade. But with our blushes, you just need a little bit. A little bit. Because you put too much, you're going to look like a clown. So see how pigmented our blush is? You just need a little bit of our blush. Okay. All right, next eyeshadow. So I have been testing this eyeshadow palette out. And this is going to be my first time bringing this brand so my channel. Um, this is the Natasha Denona bronze palette. So this is what I've been testing out for the last um, few, for about a week now. So decided to get Natasha Denona. So, so far I'm okay with, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm not a hundred percent like, yay, I'm okay with it. So this is what the palette looks like um if you're not familiar with it i know this is kind of an old palette she's since come out with another palette i am going to go in with this shade right here so i'm going to put that on my crease i'm going to take that go in with that let's see so for my lid shade i think i'm gonna go with this shimmer right here at the top here i'm gonna go in with this shade Now I'm gonna go back with this brush, not adding any additional product, and I'm gonna blend it out, make it look more put together. All right, so next I set my face. I always set my face before I do mascara. So I've been testing this product out. You're gonna see a theme here. So I have been testing out, this is the Beauty Blender Redo Setting Spray. So far so good with this. Um, definitely need the do, cause it's, um, hot outside and my face is a little dry at the moment and I do have dry skin. Um, so this does refresh my skin so far and um, so far, uh, uh, so far so good with it. And it gives like a fine mist. 
So next is mascara. I have been retesting this product out. I still don't know how I feel about it. Um, so this is a sample size. This is the Milk Makeup. This is their Kush Mascara. So I have been retesting this out. I did their initial review several months ago. So I decided to whip this back out and retest it again. I'm still kind of mm, on the fence with it. Uh, all right, last but not least, lip. Going with one of our popular liquid lipstick shades. So yes, you can't see, but I am representing my saints today because it is game day and it is the saints. So yeah. So I am going to actually line my lip. This is the MAC um, Lip Pencil in Chestnuts. I'm going to line with Chestnut today. So of course, for our liquid lipstick, of course, me, Vamp Cosmetics. Going in with one of our other popular liquid lipstick shades. I'm going in with the shade Chocolate Cream. So I'm going in with this. And then I'm gonna top it with our clear gloss. Don't worry, I have another one because this one is at the, literally is at the nub. And there we go. Here is my final makeup look featuring vam cosmetics and some of the products that i have been testing for an upcoming video testing makeup and most of it is beauty blender and you just saw me test natasha denona and retesting the milk makeup kush mascara so now i'm going to put on my dossier perfume i love this scent this is again the scent floral pink pepper which is the dior inspired perfume oh What's this? I'm ah. Yes. So again, I will have a link for Dior in the bottom of the description box so you can go ahead and check them out. Look, now I'm gonna get out of here and go to this pop-up shop smelling look good and looking good. So with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.